Hey everyone, it's Steve and welcome back to Network Advisor. If you're a small business owner, or you're maybe that person in your organization that's responsible for the IT infrastructure, but you're not a technical person, I'm going to be setting up and demonstrating a new wireless access point from Zycel Networks, which is designed to be affordable, simple to set up, and simple to maintain. And I think for people who manage small businesses, office managers, operational staff that are not IT people, being able to have something like that that's easy for them to get going and you know, if for some reason it comes offline or if it needs to be moved or password reset or whatever, that's kind of the advantage that this particular uh, product has. So anyway, let's go take a look at that and see what you think. So the NWA50AX is the smaller unit there on the right. I'm comparing it against the 110, which I've done in some previous reviews. Now let's do a quick unbox. And we've got our warranty paperwork. There's the unit itself. And it has a hundred, I mean, sorry, a gigabit ethernet uplink and also a uh, power connector for 12 volts. And there's like a little diagram there to show you how to connect it to your network and your router. And there's the wall mount or ceiling mount bracket if you want to use that. The power supply with the North American adapter. All right, the installation is supposed to be fairly straightforward and simple because of the fact that they're targeting small business and, and small office home users. And if you look in the box, it's got a picture of hooking up the power and hooking up the network cord to the router. And it's also got these little QR code, which you're supposed to be able to scan with your phone, and then it will take you to the installation manual. All right, so physically what that looks like should be fairly self-obvious, but just in case. So I got the unit right here. Plug in the Ethernet cord and plug the other end into one of the switch ports on my router. These little holes right here, they're called Ethernet ports. So it should have a free Ethernet port. Plug that in. And then lastly, I need to connect the power. And then, like I said, I'm going to scan that QR code. And Using your phone's camera, scan the QR code and then open the link. It'll bring you to the manual. Now, there's two options for installing this cloud management or standalone and i prefer to do the cloud route and there's a lot of advantages so what we're going to do is go to the app store on your phone whether it's android or apple and you're going to look for nebula you're going to install the nebula mobile and once you've located it go ahead and install it then when you start it it's going to ask for login but you need to create an account so you see there near the bottom where it says sign up so do the sign up process, fill out the data, it's gonna send you a confirmation email, and then log in. And when you log in, it's gonna ask you about two-factor authentication, which is optional. It adds a layer of security, which I like, but if this is kind of new to you, you could skip that if you wanted to. Now once you get in for the first time, it's got this pretty user-friendly wizard that doesn't require you to be technical and it asks for an organization and a site. So an organization is your overarching company. So whether you just have one site or several sites, this would be the company name. And then after that, we'll create individual sites. Now, if you just have one site, that's okay, no problem. So I'm gonna name mine Network Outsource. And then I'm going to set up my site as main office. And once I've done those two things, now we can move on to device installation. Now something the Nebula mobile app does that's really cool is the way that you add new devices, whether it be new switches, firewalls, or in this case, the wireless access points. You click on add device and it pops open your phone's camera. So you're gonna scan the QR code on the back of the unit See, so I actually scanned it twice by accident there. And then it adds it to the network. So you click next and now it's part of your network. And now we're going to go and get things connected. But before we do, let me show you some cool little things. See, it's even got like a little diagram there. It's got, like if you swipe up, it's got uh, an explanation of what the different LEDs mean on the screen. So it's kind of designed to be friendly for people who are not normally network pros. All right, now let's take a look at management. So you can use the smartphone app as your way of doing daily management or monitoring. 
And the dashboard gives you some broad strokes about what's going on with network devices, with clients, the data that's being used and by whom. You see those little icons there in the bottom. If I click on the one that's the second from the right, it looks like a cell phone icon. You can see the individual clients and they natively start with your Mac address, but you can rename those like I did here. I renamed MacBook Pro and SO iPhone. And do you see how the iPhone shows as like a dark Wi-Fi signal? So that's telling me that device is offline. So it might be something I need to investigate. The other thing that's really cool about cloud or why the significance of having cloud as your network management tool is notice on this phone screen I'm sharing with you, I'm not connected to the network. I'm on LTE which means I don't need to physically be there in order to be able to use this app. I can be anywhere in the world where I have a network connection and I can monitor what's going on at this location. The other thing it does that's pretty cool is it gives you little pop-up alerts if your network devices go offline. So you can do this on the phone, but you can also use it on the web if you want a little bit more detailed view. And there's also maybe a few extra things you can do on the web interface that you wouldn't do in the mobile app. All right, so if we were going to ask the question, how does this compare against popular competition? Well, there on the left is Ubiquiti U6 Lite, which is pretty popular right now. You can see they're about the same size. Then when we flip them over, we can see the ports on the bottom. Now the Ubiquiti U6 Lite has one ethernet port and no external power port. The Zycel has one ethernet port and an external power point. So what that means to you is that this relies on power over Ethernet. This one has the capacity to use either an external power supply or power over Ethernet. And they're both the same speed in terms of the uplink, meaning that's a one gig uplink, that's a one gig uplink. This also has a console port, which most people won't use. In terms of speed, if we put them side by side, Ubiquiti on the left and the Zycel on the right, they're about the same, give or take a little bit, depending on network and conditions. Most wireless access points are designed for maximum efficiency when they're mounted up on the ceiling like this or on a wall. But the NWA50 can work just as effectively if it's sitting on a file cabinet or maybe sitting next to the router on a shelf. All right, well, thanks for watching my video. I hope you got something useful out of it, especially if you're maybe a small business owner or you're a non-technical person who either is thinking about setting up a network or maybe you already manage the network. And I hope I was able to show you the advantages of cloud and how managing your network in the cloud can give you all kinds of flexibility. Anyway, I do appreciate your time and we'll see you on the next one.